Welcome back, Math Masters. Yes, to Virtual Room 502. Uh, yeah, it's time to do the other side of the problem set. Uh, Math Mutt and I will help you through this. We're going to do a um, we do together. Thank you, Math Mutt. You're welcome. Okay. So um, here we go. We're going to do um, 354 divided by 3. And you made a mistake. Yeah, I did. We can just sort of reverse. Yeah, we will. So it'll be 354 divided by 3. And math, math, what's this called? That's the dividend. And what's this called? The divisor. And what about the answer? The quotient. I'm surprised you're here. There's no parentheses involved in today's lessons. I know. It's just been a long time. Okay. All right, math, math. Let's go ahead and make a place value chart. Yeah. We place value disks. Yep. Yeah. So we have our ones, our tens, and our hundreds, okay? How many uh, hundreds are there, Math Mutt? The three. So we'll go one, two, three. How many tens are there? Five tens, which equals 50, yeah? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. How many ones? Four ones, which equals four, of course. One, two, three, four. And what are we dividing by, Math Mutt? What is the divisor? It is three. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some... One, you're going to make me longer. Yeah, yeah well, hold on. Two. Your allergies are very bad today, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. I could do sniffing. All right, so let's start dividing. All right, Mathmut, what do we want to do with these 300s? Well, we'll divide them by three. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Cross out one, put one here. Cross out the other one, put it here. And cross out the other one and put it there. So it looks like it's 100, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, so 3 times 100 is what? 300. Okay, so I'm going to put the 300 here. Do I need to put the zeros? No zeros required. Okay, no zeros required. All right, so let's go to the tens. Let's do it. We're going to go 1, 2, 3. Are we going to have a remainder? It looks like we have a remainder. Now, what would that remainder be? Is it a 2? No, no. It's in tens place value, so it's 20. Oh, yeah, it would be 20, wouldn't it? So what do we need to do? Decompose. Yeah, time to decompose. So how many ones in one ten, Matt? Matt? Oh, tennis, of course. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we'll do the other one. Another ten. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not much room. No, not much room. But we did the tens here. So how many? Um, we got to go back to subtract. Yes. Three minus three is zero. Mm -hmm. We'll bring down the five. That's actually a fifty. So how many threes were in fifty? Three times ten is is thirty. Yeah. So three times one up here, because we only put on one. We put the three there for 30, and we subtract again, and we have a 20. And then what do we need to do? Bring the four down. Ooh, yep, bring the four down. So how many threes are in 25? I think I know. Well, let's just make sure. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. 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 Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And that was, excuse me, we had, I missed a few on the way. You did. It gets so small, it's hard. Yeah, it was really small. You can, it's kind of hard to figure out which ones are crossing off. But I know that three times eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is 24, right? Mm -hmm. You keep saying that. So I'm going to subtract 20 from here, be zero. What's the remainder? It's zero, no remainder. Yeah, so we don't need to put remainder zero because there's no remainder. Now, how do we check? Well, you take the quotient and you multiply by divisor. Okay, so our quotient is what? The answer. And our answer is 118. And what's our divisor? The number doing the dividing. And what number is that? Three. 
All right, well, let's multiply together. 118 times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. It's shown right there, right? 24 back there. 1 times 3 or 10 times 3 is 30 plus 40 plus 50. There we go. And 1 times 3 is 3. Look at that. Math, math 354. Exactly. Arr, yes, it is. All right, thank you for your help, math. My, my problem. My pleasure. Not my problem. You have new problems to do. Yeah, we're going to try to do a... Um, uh, you do, okay? So let's do 873 divided by 4. i got to give myself more room up here. So we're dividing by 4. The yeah, folks at Eureka Math just don't give enough room. Hopefully that'll work. And we have our 1s, 10s, and 100s. And we're taking 873 and dividing it by 4. Notice that's an odd number. Dividing by an even number, it might work out. We can see see what happens. Let's see. So our first number is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 hundredths. How many tens? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens. How many ones? 3. What I'd like you to do is to pause and give it your best shot. And it's the only way you're going to learn it is by doing it on your own. Okay, I wish I was there in class with you to, to help you out, but it's not going to happen for a while, hopefully sooner rather than later. But go ahead and hit pause and try to figure this one out on your own. And welcome back. So I'm dividing by four. One, two, three, four. Looking good so far. And one, two, three, four. Okay, I know four times two, because there's my answer there, is eight. We subtract, eight minus eight is zero, bring down the seven. Okay, so let's see how many fours we got in seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. I have 30 that I'm gonna have to decompose. So I'm gonna one, two, and three. That's 30, but not a lot of room there. So I ran into trouble last time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, Go out here as needed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. That way I won't get confused. So four times one, right? Four times ten is forty. We subtract. And we have 7 minus 4 is 3. We didn't need to put a 40 there. Bring that down. We have 33. 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3. It's looking good. Let's see how many 4s are in 33. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I missed one up here. Four. Oh my goodness, it's confusing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So how many do we have down here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Four times eight. What's four times eight? Eight, 16, 24, 32. And look at the math magic. It looks like we have our one remainder right there. So let's do the check. We'll do 213 times four. Three times four is 12. One times four is four plus that one is five, 50. 200 times 4 is, oh wait, what did I do wrong here? 218. I'm sorry, guys. The long day. 8 times 4 is 32. 1 times 4 is 4 plus the 3 is 7. Wow, it's sloppy. 2 times 4 is 8. 872, but we add on the remainder, and we get 3, 7, and 8. 873. Our product is the same as our dividend. We're good to go. All right, one more to go. We can do this. You can do this. Okay, 591 divided by five. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna make them as big as I possibly can. 
Okay, I'm looking at our ones, tens, and hundreds, and we're multiplying by five. Okay, oh boy, <laughs> Eureka math, people really want to, hardly any room to work with. So we'll have one, two, three, four, and five. We have five hundredths, one, two, three, four, five, nine tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, one. We'll have a remainder, don't you? And five into 591. Go for it. Hit pause and do your best. And welcome back. Well, five into five is easy enough. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five times one is five. Five hundred. Five times one hundred. We have a zero there, and we bring down our nine. How many fives in nine? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But look at this. We have four tens. So what I'm going to do, because we've been dealing with this for a while, and I don't want to make 40 circles. Let's do 40 divided by 5. What would that equal? Okay. So I'm going to come down here, do our 1, 5. There's a 1 right there. Subtract. And we're left with 41. So 40 divided by 5. Think about it. Five times a number is 40. Five times a number is 40. We worked on this a lot yesterday. I believe it was yesterday. Yeah. We knew by the end of that lesson that 40 divided by 5 equals 8 because 5 times 8 is 40. So we could have an 8 here, 8 here, 8 here, 8 here. If I actually did the dots, that how many would be here. We have one left over. Five times eight is 40. Subtract, one is left. Let's do the math. Multiplication to double check. Eight times five is 40. Ten times five is 50. Plus another 40 would be 90. And one times five, 100. 100 times five is 500. And we add on the remainder of one, our one plus one. It equals 591. And you can see that our product, well, and sum is the same as the dividend. Wow, it's heavy duty math. All right, we're gonna stick around for Mr. Uh, Mystery Math Man. I think he's on board to come visit us. And um, then we we'll, might even have time for an exit ticket. I do not know that yet. I want to thank Math Mutt for coming out to help us. Always such a big help. Unlike Princess Yvonne, don't tell her I said that. <laughs> 